Hello everybody and welcome back to another vlog. A vlog. Dinosaur DNA. I always think about that when I do. <laughs> Dino DNA. I say that all the time. Whenever I say DNA, I always say dinosaur DNA. My husband loses it every time I do it. Jurassic Park, come on. Um, hi and welcome back to another excited Sienna. I am actually packing my makeup kit. I'm on the floor right now packing my kit. I'm just taking a little inventory of things that I need to stock up on for a wedding tomorrow morning. I just wanna make sure my kit's ready. I always like to prepare the night before so I don't have any surprises in the morning. So I need, I know I need lashes and I know I need a setting spray. And I'm just kind of mulling it over which setting spray I wanna get because I know there's a, a few, there's like three kinds. There's the all nighter, which I can't stand the smell of, but I know works really, really well. I've heard good things about one size, having a really good setting spray. And then also, um, Mac has the new stay over fix plus. So I don't know. I think where I get what I get will be based on where what part of town I'm, I got to sit down and write down my errands, see where everything is and like try to do it all in the same place. So I'm not driving all over town and being, you know, errands like that could take all day when you've got to go this way and then that way and this way. So I'm going to try to like hone in on where I need to go, but I definitely need to go get Kava because tomorrow's drive, you know, it's a thing for me in order to be able to drive on the interstate I have to have kava and all of my tools because of my agoraphobia interstate driving is like a huge problem yeah <laughs> we have to prepare for that I haven't had kava since the last time I went and got my tattoo so actually it's kind of nice though because going to do the bridal thing and that's like halfway there so then I get to focus on something and then I only have to go like another 30 minutes so it breaks it up a little bit but I still want to make sure I have kava just so I'm in a calm state of mind, especially when it comes to the bride. So anyway, long story short, I need kava tea. So I need to go pick up my kava at the tea. I, got, I like to go to the Mad Hat Tea Company. That's my go-to spot. But yeah, right now I'm just packing. Um, I did order some poofs for my brides. For my bridal services, I have a lesser expensive package option, which is just a pretty basic one for brides that are really low maintenance, don't need all the bells and whistles, don't really care about all that extra stuff. And then I have a package that's a little bit more about me working on the skin and the base and the skincare and making sure you really got that really healthy, glowy under base. So when we put the foundation on and all of that, you've really got this extra like glow to the skin. A lot of brides come with the skincare on, they have their face the way they want it, and I just put the foundation on and I go from there. We'll prime and then foundation. Um, and also we're usually on a very big time crunch. So there's not always time for me to sit there and do all this skincare. So if they choose the skincare package, they're really gonna have to account for the fact that it's gonna take longer and we need to be able to set that time aside. I would say one of the things that I, I get a little irritated about the most is that I'm not ever given the time that I really need. I'm always pressed, I'm always rushed, and I hate having to rush something that to me has to be perfect. I need that time. <laughs> I mean, sometimes they give me 30 minutes. That is not enough time to do full face bridal makeup at the caliber that I want it to be at, and that could really be frustrating. But I wanna start including little gift bags because that's something that I saw another artist offering on her website and she was like offering different package sizes and she mentioned having a gift bag and so I already give them sample outs of the lipsticks if they need it I give them um, a little glue if they need it but I'm gonna now have a little bag put together ahead of time for anybody who chooses this extra package and they'll get a little powder poof to do touch-ups throughout the day if they need it and then also I have some extra ones in here for me to be able to use if I need to like set my hand on their face to get balance or get in closely to their face without touching it so that I don't ruin the makeup, especially after we've set it. So those are going in. I just wanted to give you guys a little fit check because also these button fly men's like really baggy jeans were in my thrift store and I never even thought to try them on myself. Are they cool or are they like not flattering? Can't really tell. Just was trying to look fashionable. They did not have any setting spray. I will have to call him right back. They did not have any setting spray in the prestige area. That was what I wanted. So I gave up on prestige and I went over to ColourPop and I looked up the reviews and there are no filter setting mist. 
got really good reviews for like being a good hold infused with rose chamomile sure micro fine finishing mist see this is the problem that i usually have is they had mac but i just i usually stop i've stopped getting fix plus because when you spray it it just spits out uncontrollably large sized spit of setting spray and it tends to leave big dots i feel like on the skin and then you have to like press it in with the beauty blender or like you know fan it and then look to see if there's any dots left and i i don't like that i prefer it to be a fine mist that just kind of sets onto the skin so i like that it said that and that's what sold me on it honestly um something else i saw was this i'm really enjoying orange i'm having an orange moment and i thought this looked kind of fun it's the hydra lip tinted lip balm in poppy and I want to give it a shot because I actually forgot any sort of lip color when I left the house. I was like, oh my God, my lip liner and lipstick was still sitting on my vanity. Check it out. Look at that. That is a big lip balm. It's huge. So I have my Dior tinted lip balm or tinted chapstick that I love, but it's red. And I wanted something similar to that, but in orange. And I know it's Chanel. And I just, I would, tr I will try the Chanel, but I just thought I can find something that's a little bit more affordable. And I love these. Ooh, I love that. It's such a subtle pop of orange on the lip. I love that. And I really like this packaging. It reminds me of Milk, like Milk Cosmetics. It has that kind of packaging, but instead of green it's white but it still has that big lettering down the front of it and those kind of like chunky containers that is so stunning <gasps> do i love these hydrating with natural butters and oils shea butter avocado hyaluronic acid oh done deal knock that off the list okay i have to go get my kava tea now that is on the other side of town this weather is atrocious you know what? i'm not gonna say that because i don't call weather bad names i love this weather i love it <laughs> i do i just don't like driving in it i prefer to be home cozied up to some sort of terrible reality te television show <laughs> watching that instead of driving around in this crap and hopefully it's not like this tomorrow when i have to drive all over town and all up I-5 I to Seattle in the rain. That would suck. I got the goods. That feels heftier than the last one, but very cool. Well, I was originally going to do the sweaters, but I got home to a package. And <laughs> the real real has arrived. I got money shamed on one of my reels when I said that I used Afterpay to get my vintage Louis Vuitton planner, which did with tax and shipping end up costing me closer to like 180, 200, something like that. So if you are somebody who has $200 laying around that you can just at a whim purchase and pay, cool. That's great. But I have a mortgage. I have a million other things I have to pay for. When I am able to break things up, and I know I don't have to excuse this by any means, I don't have to explain myself, but I just wanted to be clear that not everybody is in the position to just drop a couple hundred bucks on something. If it's something that's on your bucket list of stuff, um, I will never have to buy another planner again. All I have to do is buy the refills, which by the way, if you didn't see the post and the blog I did about it, I found affordable refills for those. And you also can still buy them on Louis Vuitton's website. The reason why I like the Real Real so much is because, and I've said this a million times, but just in case you haven't heard it, I really love the quality of luxury clothing, but I don't love the price because it's always felt like it was this elite club that I'll never get into. You know, I'll never be able to afford that. I am a thrifter by nature. 
it is in my blood. So I am gonna want to buy it secondhand. Yeah, even my car, like my car is a Land Rover, but I didn't pay Land Rover prices because I got it used. It has some miles on it. Still got the car I wanted, but I had to take it after someone else has enjoyed it for a while. And that's how I feel about luxury clothing. So even, and then also just because I like vintage, I like things that are from, <laughs> calling anything from the 90s and the 80s vintage is still very hard for me to do, but I do understand that people consider things from the 80s now to be vintage. They say anything over 20 years old is vintage, but uh, no. I think to me vintage is like 50s, 60s, even 70s, but once you start getting to the 80s and the 90s, I just think that's its whole new, it kind of needs its own category and name. <laughs> I digress. I just like to shop luxury clearance on the real roll. I have a whole way of, and I'll show you guys here, of saving particular searches that I go for. So I am still and will be on the hunt for the perfect fanny pack. I have a Michael Kors one, but it's a little bit small for me. I'm looking for a larger nylon style. I mainly want it to be black. And then I also pick the labels I'm interested in. So there's some that I could have gotten ages ago from a label that I don't really know that well, but there's particular labels that I want that I'm collecting right now. And so I just narrow the search down to that particular label and design. And then that's what I have the search for. I also have searches for the sunglasses I prefer, t-shirts by the designers that I prefer. Every couple of weeks when I have payday coming around and I know I can maybe splurge on a little something and get myself something nice, I will go look in my safe searches on the real world to see if anything new has come in that looks like something I might want. So that's just how I shop. That's how I do it. And I wait for prices to come down as well. And sometimes you'll get an email from them that says, hey, here's an extra 25 bucks off your next purchase. So I'll wait till those come around and then I'll go purchase whatever it is I'm looking for. So I get a little bit, basically that ends up paying for like shipping and tax. So it's just nice. It's nice to have these little tricks to how to still get luxury clothing on a budget. Okay, let's open up these packages. All right, so this is the first thing. And these I really, really, really hope fit me because bottoms, jeans, and anything like that are scary for me. They fit around my neck and there's some stretch. So the possibility that these will fit me are pretty good. We have a pair of black, brand new jean Derek Lamb crossbody denims. I th thought these, yes, these did have the tag, but it says pre-owned. I thought these were still tag on. But yeah, these I think will be really fun to style. And I just pray they fit me, please fit me. If not, unfortunately, because these were final sale, that's the only thing too about me always buying things on the real world that are clearance. They're usually final sale. So luckily I can resell things, but and anybody can, anybody can do a Poshmark if something doesn't fit. It sucks to invest your money into something, but these are only $14 from what I remember. I think they were only 14 bucks. Look at how cool these are. Those are so cool. So the goal was I wanted the glasses to match my bag. So we've got black with silver hardware and that's what I was going for. Let's try these on. Are they good? These have some weight to them. So those will probably leave a very big ch -ch on my face. There you go. So you've got the little Prada logo on both sides actually. So it's on both, which I think is so fun. I love that. Okay, now this is a brand I've never heard of and I don't know much about. I would actually like to Google and look into it just because I like to know about these brands, but this brand called Tamara Melon. So I'm on the Tamara Melon website. And if you were to get a pair of sandals similar to these, brand new they're 500 i think i paid 35 or 40 i can't remember i'll put it here but look at how cute these are and i even googled reviews because i wanted to see if anybody had these because these can be hit or miss with the straps going around the angle you're like do they stay on the foot are they any good the foot has zero toe prints so and there's not even an ounce of wear so i've got a brand new pair of luxury sandals with and i wanted a really chunky heel sandal I wanted something with like more of like a, 
little tiny platform sandal and something I can wear this summer with my black shorts and my black Prada sunglasses. So I've, I've got three black things intentionally just to have some basics. I'm, I'm really right now working on basics and that is my little mini sit on the floor haul of randomness that I've purchased. <laughs> Okay, the outfit is on. This is a uh, bl all black makeup appropriate outfit and then also getting tattooed. So I have a two piece on so that I can take this and pull it down. It's elastic around the back. So that's really good, but they still look like dress slacks. So I still look like I'm, you know, going to work, but also take this off and I'll be super comfortable laying there getting my stomach worked on, which I'm <laughs> not looking forward to this time. I'm not in the mood. I'm tired. I want to stay home. I've had a long week. It's fine. It's going to be great. And I'm going to be glad I did it. Yeah, I'll feel much more accomplished. Did I just have the microphone cover the whole time? I probably did. Uh, anyway, here's the outfit. I don't have time. I gotta go. So if I arrived and I'm 15 minutes early. I love that for me. <laughs> Takes a lot of the pressure off of feeling rushed. And now I can kind of finish my makeup. Because <laughs> I feel like I didn't have time. I need my mirror. Uh, there was somebody driving so crazy. They were swerving and I thought this person has to be drunk and then I'm passing him and I look over and he's like, <laughs> like <laughs> I officially saw somebody more scared to drive on the interstate than myself and honestly I'm not scared anymore. I feel like therapy just blipped that out of my brain and that is the best part about EMDR because we did do a couple of EMDR sessions of me just driving and I think we even did one with the bridge but we need to do another one with the bridge there's one bridge in particular um, I think I'm fine on all the others but this one in particular is the one I had a panic attack on so I get like my heart starts beating fast when I even think about it um, I'm gonna go see if the doors unlocked see if anybody's there. I hope they are because if not I'm gonna stand outside with I'll go check and then I'll come get my stuff. That's all right Makeup done I'm out of here later than I thought I would be but I actually decided to stay and clean everything because I didn't feel like having dirty brushes When I get back and so I just cleaned my kit so it took me much longer. The bride was so sweet and cute and I love brides so much I get so excited about it. I just love love and I love weddings. <laughs> I'm such a nerd but it's just fun and I love hearing them talk about what they're doing. Everybody's weddings are always so different and personalized and it's just it's just so sweet and wholesome. But um, yeah everything went really well and I did like a kind of soft glam on her, but I did end up doing a little bit of a smoky brown wing on her just because I felt like it gave a little shape to her face. So I hope she liked it just because um, I guess I could have just like kept it really simple and just only did like two eyeshadows. But I always feel like you want to see that transformation. Plus she had lashes, so we needed something to go with the lashes. And um, she had red lips. So I just try to balance everything out a little bit without doing like black, well, I did not do any sort of black eyeliner. I just felt like that would be too much. But it looks like I'm about 30 minutes away from the, um, from the tattoo shop and my appointment's at one. So it gives me just enough time to get something to eat. I kind of wanted to go thrifting, but now I don't have time. Everything's fallen behind as it usually does. I decided to park over by this lovely waterfall feature and eat my Napoli salad and protein chips and I also got some ginger molasses cookies for the drive I also have popcorn that I pre-bagged and have ready and a kombucha Oh, I like when she's sitting but that's okay She's a good car dog She said I'm very well behaved Hello it has been a minute since I have seen you last. I actually took just a few days to work on my website. Um, I'll update you a little bit more when we get home, but we are just running some errands and we're getting some lunch from a place called Rosewood Cafe. I got a tuna melt I've been craving. And we've got Lilith, <laughs> the toy poodle, 
is back for another stay. She threw up in our bed last night, <laughs> four in the morning and she threw up all over the bed. So we had to get up at 4 a.m. and switch out the bedding. It was so fun. <laughs> I felt bad because um, she actually was trying to tell me and I was like, lay down, lay down. And she's like, okay, the husband is coming. We're gonna go get sandwiches and I'll update you later. Okay, before I get into anything, let me just show you what we did. So all that was done, the bold black line down here was all filled in. All right, so what I wanted to talk about, sorry, that was just a quick little um, blip because it's not really anything. We mostly just did shading. So what I've been doing with the web shop, I have three coffee mugs total now. The first one I have is the Thrifting is Therapy mug. I've designed two more. A new one that says, thanks, it's thrifted. And that's because honestly, I was trying to think of like thrifty taglines that I say all the time. And one of them is, thank you, I got it thrifting. Like if somebody in ever compliments an outfit that I'm wearing and I thrifted, I have to tell them. I feel this obligation to tell them that I thrifted it or that I upcycled it or that I, you know, that's vintage. I always have to give a detail. And so thinks it's thrifted is something I've said so many times in my life that I thought it deserves a place on a coffee mug. So you can get that now if you would like. All of the coffee mugs are drop shipped, which means I don't have them here. They, I designed them, I put them together. I picked out the color and the style and the size and then they they ship from a printer, like a printing company. So you guys can get them there and they're really great mugs. They're really quality and they're dishwasher safe, microwave safe. The labels will not come off. It's not, if they are like in there, they're in the mugs. <laughs> but I have that one and then I have a third one and it says, not old, vintage. And it has a fun logo that I put on it. I'm trying to keep them simple and not too busy. Um, but I just thought they were fun little designs. If you guys would like to buy yourself a fun thrifty little piece of merch from me, they're 12 bucks per mug. And then I think you pay shipping, but yeah, that's it. So that's my little update with the new, new merch that has added, been added to the web shop. And then otherwise I want to show you a couple of pieces that are in the web shop in case you were just curious what types of stuff I'm going to be carrying in it. And if you want to shop. So I think what I'll do in each video is just feature like two to three items uh, just to show you guys. It's nice to see the movement of the clothes. A lot of them I can't put on because they're not my size. Otherwise I would model them for you, but I can't. And if I could fit anything that is a, a taste style of thing that I like, I probably wouldn't have it for sale. I would hands down <laughs> love if this fit me. This is a White House Black Market. So it's a little bit more on the luxury side, designer side. And it has this pleating darting in the back. It is a tuxedo style, but like goes in and really hugs the curves. It's really flattering. And then it also has a tie across the front of it. So I just think it's so cool. I love it so much. I wish I could find this in my size. It's a size two. So this would fit like an extra small. Then that, I can't believe it's still in the store. This, I definitely don't know how this is still in the store because if this fit me, it would be 100% one of my favorite dresses. The fabric is so soft and so nice. You can see just with how shiny it is. It's a Kate Spade dress with this lovely lining on the inside and it still has the original tags on the dress which the tags say 398 retail price. I forget what I'm asking, but it's up here. But this is a size like six. Same with this. So I actually ordered this off of a, did I get this off the real reel in the clearance section? I saw that it was damaged and it's a Christian Dior. It says size 12. It's not even close to a 12. This would be more like a six, I would say, around the waist, around here. I have the measurements on the website. So I upcycled this. It had tiny little holes all throughout that were like mothballs, moth holes. And there's none on the back or anything, but this is 100% wool. So I feel like wool tends to get moth holes very easily. It is a fabric that gets chewed up a lot. Um, so I just cut the parts out that had the holes in them and added these pleating lace inserts. And then I draped the front because this this had like a little bit of an odd fold to it after I did that. And I thought it needed something. So I added this faux studded leather stripe down the front and have completely transformed 
this Christian Dior skirt into something I think is so cool. I could totally imagine somebody wearing this with like a camisole top that's really fitted. It's very quality as you can imagine being Christian Dior. But ah, uh, glorious, glorious skirt. And I have a pair of Givenchy vintage peep toe pumps in the box still. A friend of mine actually was like, Sienna, I know that you would be able to sell these in your shop. Can I give them to you? I was like, absolutely. So look at these. Look at these. Aren't they so cute? I, of course, tried to squeeze my foot into them. Forever trying to do the, like, sisters on Cinderella, making that glass slipper fit. I'll make it fit. <laughs> Alas, they do not fit. But somebody will be able to get these on and just love them as much as I would have if they were mine. They're just so pretty, aren't they? Look at them. Look at them and they're in great condition. I mean, for vintage vintage shoes, I would say they're in great condition. There's maybe just a couple of little like blemishes on the front of the leather, which you would expect over the years. They're a 38 and a half. Fits like a seven and a half to a seven. I wear a size eight, just in case you're wondering. When I Googled Givenchy, shoes still with the box that are vintage holy mackerel the price that some people are charging for them i'm trying to be fair and reasonable but also i don't want to short myself because a lot of people could buy it and then resell it for more and i would be the clown painting myself like a clown it's always kind of been a focus of mine with my store and just my web shop and things is that i want to get what feels right but not what feels like you're completely taking advantage of um reselling because reselling is it for me it takes it takes some excitement out because i like to find the treasures when they're super affordable so that i can hand pick them out for people and sell them on the web shop without marking them up crazy i get a little sad when i go to vintage stores to go shopping and everything is just so expensive that there's no way i could afford it um so anything that i can keep affordable i'm going to try my best so if anybody is in the market for anything i have some stuff i'm adding i'm going to continue to photograph and put everything up as i can so just keep checking back if you're interested because i am going to be doing this for a while i have so much stuff that i took from my little store i had a if you guys are new here you're like what store i had a small store inside of an antique an antique mall and um i closed it for many many reasons it's a video that i want to make and explain a little bit of what happened but i did have a thrift store small thrift store and just decided it wasn't for me and it isn't i just have to realize if i were to do any sort of business it would be a small private studio for microblading and makeup but i don't think the thrift store thing is for me i like doing it from my house so anything that i can do web shop online totally makes sense but that's it so anyway that's all i've got i'm gonna go watch this documentary we have right now it's called the mission so that's that thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and please give me a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you're not and i'll see you on the next one bye Thank you.